Welcome to my channel and welcome to my garden. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're further discussing extreme zone pushing and the plant for today, Strelitzia nicoli, white bird of paradise. This plant originates from South Africa. It comes from a Mediterranean type climate, zone 10A and up. This plant has been in the ground over six years. It's currently over 12 feet tall and over 16 feet wide. It's a popular house plant and in many warm climates around the world it has naturalized. The plant can reach about 12 meters or 40 feet in height. It does produce offsets readily. It's a prolific grower. If you meet the right conditions, it'll take many soil types. What's key is quick draining soil. It does not like to stand in water. You can get root rot, particularly through the winter. In my 5B climate in Ontario, Canada, these are overwintered with a cold frame. The cold frame is made of twin wall polycarbonate, which allows sunlight to come in and warm up the interior. The sun's rays are not that intense through our winter that it will not cook the plants as if you were further south. I would suggest possibly in zone eight or higher, you would have to either ventilate or only put up the cold frame during the coldest months of the winter. The heat source I use for winter protection is a string of Christmas lights with C9 bulbs, which are plugged into a thermal cube, which regulates the temperature between plus two and plus five Celsius, or 35 to 45 Fahrenheit. The plant does grow extremely quickly. It does produce multiple offsets. The clump that I have in the front garden has been there since May of 2014. At that time, it was three to four feet tall, about a meter. It had three stalks, and currently there are about 16 stalks. And like I said, the plant is now about 12 feet tall, about 18 feet wide. Now, none of my plants have flowered. I visited the Royal Botanic Gardens in Burlington, Ontario, and I was told by the head gardener at the Mediterranean greenhouse, they maintain the temperature at nine degrees Celsius, which is just under 50 degrees Fahrenheit. They do require that chilling temperature, at least in our climate, to set flowers. This clump was planted back in the spring. It was in a container for several years and it had outgrown its space. So I thought, well, let's put it into the garden, experiment and see what happens. So this plant or this clump, I'll show you the trunk. As you can see, there are three main trunks. One, two, three in the back. And this large one measures about eight inches across or about 20 centimeters. They do readily put out offsets. Here's one just breaking through the soil. I do not use heating cables in the soil for any of my exotics or my palms. What I do try to do is make sure the soil quality is consistent. It's well drained. It's in raised beds and it is amended annually with uh, either heavy amounts of compost or cattle manure or sheep manure. The dark coloration does allow the soil to heat up quicker in the spring, which encourages new growth sooner. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, share this video, hit that like button and send me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Happy gardening.